Now, what I mean by setting up your outfit, there's a few hidden things, especially for setting up your outfit for the way you want it to look, as well as if you're a PvP player or want to try to PvP, there's a specific thing you need to know about how to set up and make your backpacks, your chest pieces, mask, holsters, gloves, and knee pads look a certain way and help you hide in the DZ in conflict as well as just making it look kind of snazzy. But we're going to go over the backpack especially because this is where a lot of players go wrong. So, first of all, we're going to talk about the backpacks because I want to get this out of the way. Now, as you can see, I have a Y'all Gear backpack, but all these other ones, you see how big and bulky they are, how you know wide and they seem kind of fatter or just really robust that's extra hit areas that players can hit you so having a smaller backpack will decrease the amount while in the dz or in that spot for them to hit you as you can see we can scroll through all these different ones just scroll through them they're all big and bulky but there's some a very few that don't do that and that is the Yaw Gear. Now, why the Yaw Gear is because you see how closer and farther down past my head the grenade launcher, which is pretty big and robust, and my SMG look, it actually makes it for less hit markers in the DZ and conflict for players to hit you. Especially if you're in cover, your backpack can actually stand out and poke your guns up and they can hit that top corner. There's another set in here as well. I believe it is the Murakami. It is also a very small backpack. As you can see right here, very small. But you see how my grenade launcher went up farther to where players can hit that? That's a problem. Because it's going to stick up to where, you know, you're in cover behind an object and they're going to be able to see that they can shoot that. And that's going to get damage on you. Not just your head, but they can damage you as well. The other one is the Hannah Yu one. The Hannah Yu one does the same. Though it's small, it's not as small as this. You see how the grenade launcher just jumped down a notch or two on your screen? The best backpack design is the Yaw Gear. Now, face masks and all that don't really matter for those types of pieces. Except for one. And that's your chest piece. But we're going to go over that later. But if you want to hide yourself where no colors can be shown, always go with any piece system corruption. It's one of those that's just a dark piece and it can't be seen. But these right here, there's a set few that actually make it pop out if you want colors to pop out. Especially if we go to say something like, um, I don't know, let's go with the, the black. You want it to be as dark as possible because it's nighttime in the DZ. Here you go. These specific masks I'm going to show you make the black very strong and sturdy. And that's these three that I have favorited. So if you want to make it to where, you know, your, your colors pop out like this orange and green, because this is my hazard protection build, so I went with the, the green and orange, go with these three. It's going to make the colors pop, as well as if you put the black on, it's just going to make it, you know, just as dark as possible and you see we can scroll through all these different colors and you see that how certain ones just kind of you know make it pop out and again see this type of mask just solid black so again you can go with certain ones if you want colors to just kind of shine like you you're you're like me where you have to have it color coordinated as well you know so you can go with this but again, we can go through all these different colors, and I might as well just go ahead and show you all the colors as well, because this mask, for some reason, shows every single color the best. So we'll go through each one real quick and just kind of show you.
Now we're gonna go to the chess pieces. Now, the other part about the chess pieces is there are certain ones that have like, uh, I guess like grenades or ammo pouches and other things that are on them, like this one right here. But again, the system corruption just makes it, I mean, pretty dark, but not too dark. So you can kind of go between daylight and nighttime. So again, if you want anything, get all the system corruption pieces and all you gotta do is pick them up, deconstruct them or whatever. But these chess pieces right here that I'm showing you that I've had favorite have the best. Now, I use this Yaw Gear chess piece on my medic builds because it gives that little red cross right in the chess piece, you know, kind of makes it look like a real medic. This one here makes the colors extremely vibrant. So if you wanna be like really, really shiny, you can go with this one. Um, but again, if you see these two on my right hand side, these have nothing like this right here. See these ammo pouches? That is also extra areas that players can get hit markers off of you. So again, your backpack and your chest piece, you want something like this, just like the system corruption, like I said, it has no extra ammo pouches or nothing. So go with one of these two if you want bright, shiny colors, or even if you want to go extremely dark black, you can put that on here, and I'll show you. Go down all the way here to the black, and you see how it just, it makes it extremely dark. So if you want to hide in the DZ, especially at nighttime, here you go. So, now for the... I, let me see. Let me go over. Yeah, we went over the hit markers. Okay, so we're going to go back to the backpacks. I'm going to show you the other piece for these. Now, this one here, I barely use. A lot of people like this because it shows the colors off really well because of the shoulder pads as well. The shoulder straps can also make or break the way the colors go. So this one here kind of gives it a metallic but it's a very small backpack, but I don't use this one in the DZ. You see how the shoulder straps are really kind of dull and dark, but the backpack is all nice and metallic. So if we go over to this one, again, it's nice, bright, and shiny. You wanna be nice and shiny. Look at the shoulder pieces. Again, so that's why we use the Yaw Gear because it gives it both the colors and we still get to keep the vibrant colors, but it's not too vibrant. At the same time, we're also decreasing the hit markers that the players can get. So the best one you're gonna get is the Yaw Gear. Now, again, uh, you can go down, like I was saying, all these other ones, you can see how they kind of look rustic. You can go with different ones if you want to. But again, I think if I do this right here, no, ah, never mind. Yeah, so you can see the backpack right here. See how much big, how bigger it is and everything else? That's more hit markers. Again, I can't stress this enough. Get rid of the hit markers that people can get off of you. See how smaller that looks? Yeah, go with the all gear. Now, gloves. Again, I go with these specific gloves that I have on rather than all these other ones. And you see like this one here, it gives you no colors whatsoever. So you can't even change it to black. Like you could put black on and it's not gonna change it. Again, system corruption, they're already blacked out, but you got the little gray fingers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but if you want vibrant colors, even ones that you can turn black, go with these, the Empress ones, okay? These will make them as dark as night. And again, you can go with all these other ones. And I think there's actually some other ones. I believe the Gilligard. I've tested the Gilligard ones out as well as the Alps. The Gilligard or the Alps are really good ones to use. Because if you want them to go like dark, like my uh, hoodie is, go with that. On to holsters. Now, again... Almost every holster in this game barely gives you any color. Barely gives you shit. So, there is a set. And, again, if you don't want to show off anything, go with the system corruption. It's a lot smaller. Smaller hit markers. They can't get those hit markers off of you. But if you want bright and brilliant colors at the same time, go with this. The Badger Tough. The Badger Tough will show off all those different colors that you like whether it be camo 
whether it be like my colors right here or different other kinds of colors, it's going to show the most. Knee pads, same thing. Go with the system corruption if you want to hide your colors, just be dark and the DZ so nobody can see you. Every one of these other ones that I've found, they will never show off the colors more than these ones that I have favorited. And you see, we can go through a few of them and it's just show you like some of these just kind of look a little, like a little rustic, a little banged up or whatever. These ones here like are the closest. I think it's the, I can't tell what those ones are right now. But anyway, you can go with those ones, but the ones I have favorited will show off the colors extremely bright. As well as if you put black on them, they will go, I mean, as dark as night. So again, hit markers, decrease them, take them off as much and as fast as possible okay and let's just show you again so i'll show you all black as a matter of fact i'll show you all black and show you how dark this can get with all these pieces that i have on that way if you're fighting in nighttime or in the rain or something like that you don't want players to see you you know, you can go as dark as night, and they won't see you, you and just run away. Unless they pulse you, of course. Solid black. And the last one, solid black. Man, look at those knee pads. There you go. So again, I hope this video helps some of y'all. Um, I hope it will also help you to where players can't get a few shots off of you by decreasing your hit markers. But as you see, I color coordinate all my builds. Like, especially this one. I'm kind of really like this one the most. The healer. You see the little red cross in the front. I think that's pretty dope. I use gray rogue here to kind of get that color. Uh, on my skill damage one, you see I do the BTSU because of their skills. And for my straight DPS, I do rogue color. So, because rogues hit like a tank. So, and again, just all these different builds, I have different colors. And I have them color coordinated. So. Yep. There you go, gentlemen. Ladies. Enjoy.